I should point out that this dungeon is shaped like Ganon's face, so this is referred to as the Ganon Dungeon. So let's crawl over his face and see if we can't make our way forward again. First we have another small little puzzle room with annoying bubbles just everywhere trying to block me from going forward. But we can head down the stairs and we can take out keys as we go. I really cannot afford to take any more damage unnecessarily, but we spawn here in a difficult room and hopefully I can pull this off. All right, well, I, I landed it, got hit there. Uh, no, 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 I think we did it. All right, we made it through without taking any damage. Uh, these guys, I'm gonna use a wand for these guys. Uh, these guys, I don't know the, their official name. I call them uh, centipedes because well, they remind me of the game Centipede, which I used to have back in the day, but that's neither here nor there. They, they go down fairly easily. We took a little bit of damage there. I'm really hoping that I get some sort of, uh, some sort of health out of this eventually. Uh, but we can find this room full of like-likes. Just try to do what you can against them. Pretty much, you don't need to kill them, you just need to head through to the other side. They did get in my way, though. Uh, then we can take on these guys. These guys should be easy enough that I should try to get some health off of them. But of course, oh, they finally did drop it. All right, so they, they gave me a little bit of health. I will take that, and then we will head north again. And we'll, we'll hope for the best here. Uh, we are up against, ooh, I think these are, I think these are keys. So we'll just go for that. Yeah, and unfortunately it's not a nice room at all to, to get past keys. So I took a little bit of damage and we're heading forward again. All right, so what I want to do here is push that forward and then head to the left. I don't have to bomb it, that's right. That was an illusion wall again, but no, it is a bomb wall this time. This time we are going to head west and then immediately east. Just don't even bother. There's red bubbles in there in case you're curious and I don't want to deal with them. I just want to push that and head north here where we can find uh, those robes. All right, so what I want to do is bait those and head through. Somehow we made it through without taking any damage there. Uh, another room here. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think I just want to... Yeah, I want to bomb north, unfortunately. That's going to be the difficult part. All right, bomb. No. No, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all because I don't have my sword. So let's get that. Oh, that's definitely not good. I'm gonna need to use a potion here. It's earlier than I wanted to, but I think I, I don't have a choice here. I just do not have a choice. Oh, there's so many whiz robes in difficult rooms. Actually, the Patro is the thing that did the most damage to this point. All right, we're gonna head through here, just avoiding those guys. There's no reason for me to take them on. Why, why did I do that? All right, we're, we're just heading north here. A little bit of damage, but I'm okay with that. Go to the next room, if you say so. So we will head west through here. Taking on more like-likes that I really know. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine somehow. We still have the magic shield. Okay, we'll head west again. Avoiding these guys, heading north. And here we can find an illusion wall. And we can find more of these centipede things and we can we can just use that. That I mean, this is what the wand was designed for, these guys. Yeah. There we go. All right. We're, we're doing okay. Ish. Okay-ish. But we can head down here where we can find the red ring. That is long overdue. I could have used that a while ago. 
but I will take it now. I will take it now. So now we are upgrade to Red Link, and that is definitely an upgrade, but we don't get him as long as I would like. We have made a lot of progress in this dungeon. I've gotten everything that I actually need. I've gotten the red ring, I've gotten the silver arrows, and even though I haven't cleared out as much of the dungeon as I probably should, I'm just gonna head straight for Ganon at this point. I feel like it is the way to go. So, we are going to head over to the east where we can find the Patra again, and we will take this guy on without the statues. It will be a lot easier, I feel, in order to kill this. It really was the statues that was throwing me off before. Even though I got hit there, they were doing a damn spiral. Really? There's really no need for me to get hit this often. Ugh. It's always hard to tell what kind of distance I'm gonna get off these guys. Come on, there we go. Alright. We got what we need. We can hear, we can hear something in the distance, but what we want to do now that that guy is gone is push that block forward and head down the stairs. We're getting there. Oh, we are getting there. Go ahead and take out all of you. Head up through here. Try to avoid all this. A bomb. Ugh. And head forward. Okay, that's good enough. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine with this. Uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter what I equip. Oh, that spread out a lot farther than I thought it would. I still have a use of my potion, which I'm okay with. Ugh, so I can take a little bit of damage here. It'll be fine. All right, we got him. We got him. No heart or anything at the end of that, but we are now ready. Let's go ahead and get our arrow ready because we're headed in for boss time. We're up against Ganon again. All right, just once again, just, you know, if this was guns, I would say it would spray and pray, but we're pretty much just randomly going around and and swinging our sword, hoping for the best. I don't have a better strategy for you than that. Just hope that you land a shot. I keep on running into him. There's a shot. There we go. There's two. We're we're getting there. It's not easy though. Just, just keep going and doing what you can. I hate when I, he's like right there. Wherever that thing spawns. Oh, I thought that was good enough. Not quite. Come on, Ganon, show up. Where are you? No. Oh, ran into him again. Where the hell is this guy? Get out here and fight, Ganon. Don't make me heal, I'll do it. I still have a use left in my potion. I will heal on you. All right, there's three. Come on, Ganon. Get out here and fight. Damn it. He just spawns right on top of me. Get out here. All right, I'm, I have to. I have to. I don't have a choice here. I'm, I'm about to die, and Ganon's not showing up where I want him to. This is where I feel some of the luck comes in, because I, I really have no, no help as to how to get him. But with that, he is now red, and now we can hit him with the silver arrow. And we win. Eat some more. And we get ourselves another Triforce. And we can head forward. No, 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 no fire. And we can find Princess Zelda.
and we have won! Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Yay, we have Triforces together! Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. And we have won! Again! This time it officially counts. It's the second quest we did. Not necessarily everything that we could in the game, but I did get everything that was important, I feel, in the game. And the credits are not very long. So let me just reiterate, you are great. Thank you, Link. You have an amazing wisdom and power. The end of The Legend of Zelda 1. I honestly did not know that they put the, the one at the end of that. If I did not know, I forgot. But like I said before, this game is a classic, but it is also a product of its time. I feel like the game should be played by everybody, but I would highly recommend that you have a guide because just some of the randomness that they expect you to figure out on your own, I think is a little bit too taxing, especially by modern standards, where we do kind of expect the game to tell us what to do. This game does not tell you what to do. You're just kind of thrown in and you have to figure it out for yourself. And a lot of times the solution is a very obscure thing for you to figure out. But with that said, music, great. Graphics for the time, great. Uh, the scrolling, I know it looks very dated and it's a staple of Zelda games, but for the time, that kind of scrolling, perfectly acceptable. A lot of Nintendo games simply did not scroll at all. It was a single screen. So scrolling, I'm perfectly okay with. I'm even willing to say it was good for the time. So with that all said, this game has been a classic and it has been a lot of fun playing it. It's been a little frustrating at points, but I am very happy to say that I did indeed finish it. And then we can do Link 2 again. And I feel like there was one thing that I did not show off during the Let's Play at all. So we are off to go do that now. I don't have a sword on me, so that'll make this a little bit easier to do. I have not done one very important thing. I have not died on screen. So it is now time to take care of that. Game over. And that's what happens when you die. You do get a continue, a save, and a retry. Uh, you hit select to actually change through all of that. So we will just go ahead and continue and we will respawn on the origin screen with a very basic link. And with that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by the hero of Hyrule, the savior of Princess Zelda, even though he didn't get a kiss, Link, who has been many colors throughout our entire journey. I hope you guys have enjoyed this entire Let's Play. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.